I'm going to blow a sharp stream of air out of the straw. And when the straw, air from the straw goes around this ball, it's going to curve over the top. And so it's going to bend to go around the ball. Well, the ball pulls the air this way. In my Newton's third law, that means that the air pulls the ball this way. As a consequence, it's going to pull it into the airstream. When it gets into the airstream, air is going to go around the other side. And that's going to pull it back, and it's going to make a stabilizing force. As the ball moves back and forth in the airstream, wherever the air is moving, it's going to be pulled back into the stream. And so it creates a stable pocket where the ball will ride very happily. And it's held there by the force of the air pushing on the ball. And the air pushes on the ball because the ball pushes on the air. And the ball makes the air curve around it. And so it makes that stable pocket where it rides. Now we can do this bigger with a bigger blower. And here's this data vac. And this is uh, meant to blow off computer keyboards. And it blows a pretty firm stream of air. And if I blow this upward, it curves around the ball. And that curvature of the air produces a force on the air that produces a force on the ball that holds it stably in the stream. The only crucial parts about the ball are, there's two things. One, it's lightweight, and two, it's round. And so I can actually do this with a light bulb. And if I hold the light bulb, like so, and I blow air over the top of it, bulb gets held stably in the airstream because the air goes over the top, the air curves down, that creates a lift force that pulls the light bulb up.